friends, it's Kelly back with another process video. Um, when I started this video, I had was in the middle of a crop and realized I had not turned the camera on when I created my base, which is just a grid uh, design. I'm using Simple Story School Life to scrap these two photos of my grandbabies doing their homework. I went over because my granddaughter was struggling with her math homework and I went over there to go help her work on that and help my grandson. I, while I was there, he read to me and he was showing off how good he's getting at reading. So, of course, I had to document this event because we've got to have every moment of their lives documented. <laughs> my daughters laugh at me because... I'm like, take pictures, take pictures. So, yes, if I can't be there, I want to see everything they're doing at all times. <laughs> so, I'm back, I backed both of these photos with a yellow photo mat, and then I'm using the fun foam <clears throat> to give them a little height and dimension on the page. And I just kind of cattywampused the the two photos there to the right hand side and I chose this homework title because it number one it matched the background I thought it was perfect it had that cork board texture and it was perfect it said homework and that's exactly what we were working on and um, I found this the layout, what I was kind of struggling with what to do here at first. I just didn't know what I wanted to do. So whenever I feel like that, I just go look on Pinterest and see what I've pinned in the past and try to just grab inspiration from there. So, and that, and I found this sketch. I'm believe it comes from scrapbook generations the sketch and um so here i just wanted something to layer to put underneath my title because i felt like it was a little bit lost on all that color and so i just felt like this little white notepad piece just hel helped it to show up a little better and then I also popped the banner piece from the sticker sheet on some foam dots or foam adhesive to just to give it a little more prominence on the page as well. So I did this weekend crop with Victoria Marine and we had so much fun and I got four layouts done, which for me, that's pretty good because I only participated Friday and Saturday, so, and it was a lot of fun. We went, had Zoom, a couple, I went to a couple of the Zoom calls, and it was a lot of fun, and it's just fun getting to talk to other people who like scrapbooking as much as I do, because I don't know, I don't have friends that like scrapbook here, so I wish that I did, and maybe someday I will. <laughs> So I'm just messing around with the ephemera pieces, trying to decide what I want to go where. And this, I, the banner piece gives it a little more balance, I feel like, because it's a pretty heavy composition over on the right-hand side of the page. So I feel like the banner just kind of counterbalanced it, gave it a little more balance on that side so I'm use I'm doing what I do which is <laughs> layering lots of the ephemera pieces and court and chipboard pieces to create a cluster there at my top right hand side of the page but I, I, I guess I didn't like that position <laughs> So I had to change things. 
until I find a composition that I like. I decided to, instead of trying to use all chipboard pieces, to find some flat pieces, so I went to my sticker sheet to find some filler pieces for the back. And I'm showing you here, these uh, wood veneer are from Shadney, who is one of my favorite scrapbookers. She's just the sweetest. And I had ordered these, this was last year, <clears throat> and I just now broke them out to start using them, so. Which I, this year I have not done nearly as much scrapbooking as I usually do, so I went through a little phase where I, I think I just had to take a break for a little while and plus work was crazy and then I had my new puppy and it just wasn't feeling it for a while so <clears throat> <coughs> during that time my because I always feel like I have to do something creative and so during that time where I took off of scrapbooking I was doing I got into the miniature world and building miniature kits which was it's so much fun and very rewarding but scrapbook will always be my first love and I always come back to it so I got that out of my system for a while <laughs> and built some really cool things during that time and if you're interested let me know in the comments and I will do a video showing all my miniature kits that I built during my um, off time during of scrapbooking <laughs> And this is where I'm going to go ahead and add the date with my favorite date stamps that I got from scrapbook.com. I got a bigger set and then I got, which this is the bigger font. And then I also have a smaller font that's script instead of block letters. But I love both of them and I use them almost on every layout. And here I am about done. I thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this process video and listening to me ramble. And have a great rest of your week. And I hope you get to be creative and do something fun. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.